Recruiting hosts for a fundraising event has been a game changer, but recruiting individuals who are going to invite their friends has proven to be a challenge for many. Watch this video and discover the best ways to recruit these valuable ambassadors. Stay tuned. In the spring of 2014, I was working with a local nonprofit who bought into the concept of recruiting hosts to fill a table of 10 for their fundraising dinner. However, on their own, they incorporated an unprecedented step of offering a prize to the host who brought the most guests. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that just finding warm bodies is not the key, but finding good qualified guests is the winner. With this nonprofit, what I discovered later was that the organization didn't help hosts pre-qualify who should be at their tables. At the dinner, there was a ceremony where the winner of the table host contest was revealed, and the host got a weekend resort package that was donated to the nonprofit. The winner brought 48 guests, nearly five tables. In addition to the weekend package, he received many accolades for bringing the most number of guests. Unfortunately, in the days following the event, we learned that not a single person at those tables gave any money, and even the host himself gave only a very small amount. That was a painful but valuable lesson for the nonprofit and me to learn. Always train hosts to pre-qualify guests using a few simple rules that I'll share soon. And never assume the hosts understand what you want unless you train them adequately. Placing the emphasis on simply filling tables instead of qualifying guests will lead to disaster. Recruiting and training the right host is the one of the primary keys to success in any event. Hosts act as ambassadors for your organization and they need to be equipped to be the best representative possible for your nonprofit. Here's a few tips I've got from recruiting event hosts. Tip number one, conduct a name storming session. There's no better exercise to raise up hosts for an event than a name storming session with your staff, volunteers, board, prospective or current table hosts and donors in attendance. Every successful event has included this important step. This is a time where prospective hosts are identified and those individuals attending the session commit to challenging the candidates given during the name storming session. Time doesn't allow me to explain this process in detail, but I recently did a video entitled Premier Success Factor in the Dinner Strategy. Click the link above and watch the video after you're finished with this. Tip number two, determine interest from prospective hosts. In any recruiting efforts, it's always important to determine who stands with you now and who needs a little education. From the name storming session, I always approach first the low hanging fruit, those individuals who already know and love you. That's staff, volunteers, board, and donors. Most of those individuals are already aligned to your mission, vision, and values and love you and what you're doing. Most will do anything for you. They just need to understand the steps in the process. In the concentric circles of influence, they are your bullseye, the center of the target. The next group of prospective hosts are those people who know you and seem to like what you're doing, but have really not yet been pulled into the current plan or strategy. They need alignment. The third level is what I refer to as suspects. Those people who have some understanding of what you're doing and an overall interest in your mission, but haven't been involved prior to this, they still have a ways to go to be aligned. The last level is those who have had little to no contact with your organization in the past, and especially not its plan strategies and activities. These people are riskier, but should be considered as potential table hosts. Tip number three, challenge to be a host. Just like any fundraising effort, you have not because you ask not. Specifically challenging someone to serve as a host is the very best way to get them to host. You can send a generic invitation to a person asking them to host a table, but in reality, those don't receive a lot of positive responses, and they're done way too often. The levels of effectiveness are as follows. A personal appointment to make the challenge, a call to make the challenge, a text to or email to make the challenge, and a mass email to make the challenge. In every situation, I always lead with a challenge to be a host. Your fallback position or option to a negative response is, well, can you at least come and sit at my table? 
Often seeing the role modeled one year will get them to host the next year. Don't be afraid to take risks. Challenge every likely person to be a host, even if their alignment with us is a bit risky. Sometimes you lose by getting the wrong host, but more often than not, you win because someone you never expect to do well as a host brings in a table full of big givers. Remind hosts that they should pre-qualify guests using the following criteria. People who have a heart for your cause, an interest in the mission, and a willingness to consider a gift at the event and beyond. Tip number four, accept the realities. Whether you wanna hear this or not, facts don't lie. 50% of those who commit to be hosts won't come through to some degree or another. Let me restate that. 50% of those who say they will stand with you and fill a table never come through. That means that you will have to recruit twice as many hosts as you had planned. For example, to get 150 guests with tables of 10, you won't need 15 people to commit. You'll need to get 30 people to commit to being a host. Know this, some hosts will bring one or two other couples, while others will end up bringing only themselves. Still others will say, Jim, my company went public and not only will I not fill a table, but I'm not sure that I'll even be at the event. It just happens. Prepare for it, plan for it, and when it does happen, and it will, you know that you have padding in your numbers to account for this. But look at things this way, getting a couple to bring even one other couple is more than you had prior to asking them to host. Using hosts to help populate your event is without a doubt one of the real game changers for any event. For almost a decade, I tried conducting events by just inviting people from our mailing list and never saw success until I was introduced to the concept of friends inviting friends. Individuals who are willing to leverage their relationship with others to get them to attend your event is without a doubt the best way to get people involved and build new friendships. Multiplication is the key to success in any event. Hosts who fill their table with the same people year in and year out, a pattern that seems to occur often, this only produces replication. Hosts who fill their table one year and are challenged to find a new host from their past guests is critical. That new host will draw from their networks and relationships and allow you to get into circles never reached. That instead fosters multiplication. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below listing which concept you like best and wanted to start first. And if I missed anything valuable that you learned, share that with me in the comments so they can help our entire community get better. An interesting statistic came to light the other day. More than 70% of those who watch this channel regularly have never subscribed. There's no cost to you, but the more subscribers we have, the more this message gets out to others, and the more we can all share in the wealth derived from our collective experiences. Simply hit the big red subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. For some, you may have to sign in using your Gmail account and get there. So please take that added step to do so. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with donors, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.